Well, good day. I'm Dwayne Matz. Welcome to today's Living Word. I'm going to spend a little time in the Gospel of John, chapter 11, and talk about a little teeny word that means so much. That little teeny word is so, S-O. We read from John 11, verse 5 and 6. Now Jesus loved Martha and her sister and Lazarus. So, when he heard that he was sick, he stayed two more days in the place where he was. That's John 11, 5 and 6. You see that little word, so, two tiny little letters that pack such a wallop. And I hope that this two-letter word found here in John will help you and I when we struggle with unanswered or delayed answers to our prayers. I mean, think of what's being said here. The word so means because. Because Jesus loved Martha, Mary, and Lazarus, he dropped everything he was doing and rushed to their side to heal Lazarus of his deadly disease. Is that what he did? No. Or did he, you know, hear of his terminal illness and just snap his fingers and commanded that illness to depart from him? Is that what he did? No. He certainly could have done these things, but because he loved them, he delayed two full days. He allowed Lazarus to die. And in that delay, he taught them and us the ultimate lesson to learn while traveling this side. That lesson is this. Jesus is the resurrection and the life. He who believes in him Though he may die, he shall live, John eleven twenty five, And that truth alone should shore us up whenever difficulties come our way. So, because we are confident of Jesus' love for us, indeed we, like Mary and Martha, send word to him whenever something rough comes our way, whatever befalls us. And then we simply trust in that love to give us his perfect answers. And those answers can be summed up in three ways, right? Yes, no, or not yet. No matter how he answers, we have this assurance of his love for us, and in the long run, the blessed hope of eternal life. Though we may die, we shall live. So pray, my friend. He hears you. He loves you. He will answer in perfect compliance with his will a will that is wrapped up in his love for you perfectly. I'm Dwayne Matz, and that's today's Living Word.